Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to my very first kind of first impressions overview type video. Normally when stuff packs are released, um, I do reviews that are about 15 minutes long, and they do take more time to edit and make and everything, but I always had fun making them. But I did go on Twitter and ask you guys if you wanted me to do another review like I have been, or if you wanted me to kind of switch it up a little and do a first impressions overview. And you guys were like, yes, do the overview. So... Here is my first impressions. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm going to try not to make it too long. But but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you prefer the overview style or the review style whenever you're done watching this video. So anyways, this is The Sims 4 movie hangout stuff. And I am so excited. Like I know some people are probably like, oh god, the popcorn maker looks just like the ice cream maker from Cool Kitchen, and you know, all it is is watching movies, but that excites me. Like, I am so excited. This reminds me of family play. Like, to get the whole family together with their, their kids and watch a movie, like, that just, it reminds me so much of family play, which I have personally been wanting, and I know a lot of you have been wanting, and that just, it gives me that vibe. So I'm hoping 2016 will be the year of of more family stuff in The Sims 4. Like, I'm hoping. I, that'd be my dream. But anyways, let's get reading this. Okay, so gather around the projector screen, add a movie theater experience to your home, and watch 10 unique films from the comfort of your Sims couch or under a starry sky. So yeah, there are actually 10 movies, and I'm pretty sure they're like, I want to say it's like two minutes in like real time. That's how long each video is. I don't know. We're going to watch all the videos, though, so be prepared, guys. Um, <laughs> Poppin' with the popcorn popper. Satisfy your Sims snack cravings with freshly popped kernels smothered in butter, cheddar, or sugary sweetness. Mmm, popcorn. I love me some popcorn. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I love popcorn. <laughs> Boho chic fashion. Dress in carefree style that's perfect for hanging out during the day or lounging in the evening. Don't forget the hairstyle to complement the look. Okay, so I personally love boho fashion, so I am so excited about this. Um, yeah, I, I, it's one of my favorite styles ever, just personally, so I'm very excited about the boho fashion and the boho furniture even, because it looks like in the previews and the trailers or whatever, it looked like that most of the furniture is bohemian looking, which I am so happy because everything up till now I feel like has been so modern, which is great, don't get me wrong, like, I love modern furniture and modern houses and all that stuff but after a while I just I need something different <laughs> and see I love that boho chair like I am so excited okay I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I'm gonna be very annoying <laughs> in uh, in this video but anyways set the mood with fun accent pieces add a splash of color and flair to your sims home with a collection of vivid decor and decorative lighting every great accent piece has a story these are no exception all right. So that being said, I am officially going to go ahead, start a new game, and um, I'm going to go ahead and make The Sims really quick, and then I'm going to go show you guys all of the hair, clothing, um, makeup, if there's makeup, and all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys then. All right. So now getting into hair, there are four new hairstyles for the females, and um, this one is... Um, dreads and this actually reminds me a lot of the Sims 3 university life hair that was dreadlocks if you guys know which one I'm talking about yeah it reminds me a lot of that and I really like it I like the detail around like the crown of her head I just I really like the detail of it and I like it um this one oh my gosh this one is so pretty I'm probably gonna use this a lot <laughs> To be honest, I'll probably use this a lot in my Let's Plays and stuff. Um, I just love this braid. It's like a French braid, but it's it takes up like half her head, but it's really pretty. It is. I love that. Um, let's see. Ooh, okay, so this is like a ponytail, and it has a braid on this side and a braid on that side. I'm a huge fan of braids, so any hairstyle for me that really has a braid, I get pretty excited, so... I love this hairstyle. Love, love, love it. And, oh, okay. So this is the dreadlocks, but it has, like, different colors. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. That is so neat, though. <laughs> oh, that one's pretty. I love that. See? Yeah. 
I, I could dye my hair that color, I probably would, but I would never be able to pull it off in a million years. So, like that is so cool. That looks so, that looks really cool. Okay, sorry, I get really excited. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just gonna give her this one because I love this hairstyle. And um, all right, let's move on to hats. It looks like there might be some new hats. So let's go ahead and filter it to Movie Hangout. All right, so this is the new hat we get. It's nice. I don't know how often I'll use it. It kind of looks like she has a UFO on her head, if I'm being honest, <laughs> from that point of view, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, it's still nice. I think it would be nice for, like, I don't know, kind of like a sun hat, but it's not, I don't know. It's just really wide, very wide. <laughs> but it's cool. All right, moving on to accessories. Ooh, we got, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> we get these big old sunglasses. Oh my gosh, they're tinted. Oh my gosh, yes. Tell me, oh my God. You can, you can have like the rose tinted glass. Oh my gosh. This is probably my favorite. Like, I love that. That looks amazing. I'm, oh my god, I'm literally fangirling over a pair of sunglasses, but I just love the tint. They're so cool. Like, I don't know if I like the shape of them entirely. Like, I feel like they're a little too high on her face or something. I don't know. But I really love the tint. Like, that is so neat. I'm, okay, I'm really excited about those sunglasses. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, yeah, we don't have any new makeup, which is kind of like, what? no new makeup I mean it's just fine we already have quite a bit of makeup if you own like all the other stuff packs then there is a lot of makeup so so it's all right I guess I suppose we'll be all right all right so let's go ahead and check out the um let's check out the tops and bottoms first okay so we have this top right here this almost looks like it belongs in get together do you guys agree? Like, at least in that color. Maybe in other colors it doesn't. I don't know. Like, it just kind of looks like a clubbing shirt. It just... I get that vibe from it. I don't know. Ooh, I love this. With the, like, different colors. Kind of like an ombre look. I love that. That's really cool. Yeah, I like this shirt. It's cool. But it does remind me of Get Together a little bit. But I love that color. Like, that is gorgeous. And then we have this one, which is so boho, it hurts. Like, this just makes me so excited. That is so boho, and it's so exciting. I actually really love this shirt. It's probably my favorite. Well, I'm not going to say it's my favorite shirt in the whole game, but my favorite shirt um, out of the two, anyways, is what I mean. You know, all the different colors. It's just really pretty. I love it. I think I like... Hmm... I don't know which one I like best. Probably like that one. I like that one a lot. Moving on to pants. Let's go ahead and see what we get. So we get these bell bottoms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Those are so hippie. They actually match the shirt like perfectly. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how often I'll use these. I would, if I had like a hippie kind of sim, then I definitely would use these. These would be perfect, actually. Um, but yeah, they're, they're interesting. <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Um, I do love, like, the Aztec print on the side, though. It's really pretty. And then let's take off her leggings so you can see. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so these are kind of like booty shorts, but I kind of like them. I really, actually, I really like them. If you put these with, like, a bikini top, it would look really, really cute. I love these shorts. Those are so cute. You could use them as, like, pajama shorts, too, if you really wanted to, or swim shorts or whatever. They're just really pretty. And I do love the Aztec print, so. Like, I love that. It looks almost like a mermaid. <laughs> like a mermaid would wear those shorts, you know, if we had mermaids. But, yeah. Yeah. All right, moving on to the shoes. Let me see. Oh, we get a pair of sand. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I love these are like my favorite sandals in the whole game. They're just so pretty. I love them. I love these sandals. I'm sorry, guys, but I really, really love these sandals. 
<laughs> They're really pretty. I love them. They're like something I would probably wear, honestly, so I like those a lot. Alright, let's check out full body before we forget. <laughs> like I almost did. Alright, so we got this dress here. I actually really like it. I like the shape. It's like cinched in the back. I love little details like that. Like, I don't know, the little holes in the shoulders. Really cute. Ooh, I like it in the yellow. I love that. It reminds me of Island Paradise. I don't know why. I don't know why. But it reminds me of an outfit that would be in Island Paradise. All right, and this is a long, like, maxi dress, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. And it's really pretty. Love the belt. You could even have it in this plain black color and use it as just a regular formal outfit. Like a gown. So pretty. Ooh, I love that. That is so cool. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm, like, fangirling right now a little bit. Just a little bit. I love this funky color right here. It's so neat. Whoops. I'm still looking at this. I like the little details on this one. I love that. So yeah, I really like that dress. And then we have another dress here, which is also really cute. I love, see, I love the boho style. I just find it really cute and I find it like it's not super modern and like anybody can pretty much, you know, wear these clothes and it's just really cute. Love it. So yeah, now we're going to go ahead and um, check out the males because I'm pretty sure we just checked out everything there is for females, which honestly, like I would have preferred maybe a few more things, but I don't know. And at the same time, the stuff pack is $10. So, you know, maybe just a couple more pairs of shoes or something you know I don't know but anyways moving on to the men let's go ahead and check out the hair so we get this one which is just kind of a short do it actually looks like it's kind of shaved in the back a little bit um, and it's all kind of swept over I actually really like this hairstyle a lot so this pack is great if you want cute hairstyles um, definitely <laughs> And then, yes, we f we get, like, a long man hair. And this is, like, this, I mean, yeah, we have long hair already for men. But this is, like, blown out. Like, he got a blowout, you know? <laughs> like, that's what it looks like. And it looks awesome. Like, I love that. It's really hot. <laughs> that makes me sound so creepy. But it do it seriously does. It's, it's kind of, like, makes him look hotter to me. Doesn't it? Yes, it definitely does. Like, Fabio, look out, man, you know? All right, I don't believe men get... Oh, no, men get the same hat as the women. So there you go. <laughs> he really wants a hat. Um, no new accessories, right? Um, oh, yeah, they get the sunglasses, too. <laughs> but other than that, there's no new uh, bracelets, earrings, or anything like that. All right, let's move on to clothing. All right, so men get five new shirts. What? What? Really? Okay, usually guy, I feel like guys don't usually get more than girls, and girls got two shirts, right? Two shirts? Yeah, and men got five. Like, what the heck? <laughs> All right, so this is one of them. It's interesting. I'm actually not a fan of that pocket, though, right there. I find it kind of just oddly placed like it's right on his boob it's just weird um <laughs> but it's still nice you know I probably won't use this very often though if I'm being honest it's just not my personal preference but that's just me oh my gosh this is like practically a kimono look at this <laughs> it's very chill laid back oh my god <laughs> it's nice though I like it I like it like kind of like that, like plain without all the print underneath. That's nice. Ooh, the shirt. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this almost looks like custom content, doesn't it? I don't know. I feel like this looks like custom content. Whenever The Sims gives you something in a pack that looks like custom content, I get super excited. So this shirt is kind of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I am so creepy in this video. I apologize, but what can I say? It's true. 
Like, yes. He looks nice in that, you know? I don't know. Uh, let me get this shirt, again, with the crazy print. It's still nice. I like it. Um, it doesn't really stand out to me from other shirts that we already have in the game. It kind of looks kind of similar to me. But I still like it. Ooh, and then they get this crazy sweater. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that sweater though. It's like a grandpa sweater. Grandpa cardigan. Love it. <laughs> All your sexy grandpa sounds gonna be wearing this. They can wear this. <laughs> all right, I'm putting him in the sexy shirt. I'm gonna call it the sexy shirt. Look at all those buttons unbuttoned. So, like he's showing off, you know. Yeah. Anyways, moving on <laughs> to pants. All right, so we get two new pants for men. Oh. Ooh. Okay. If you okay. <laughs> if I could talk, that'd be great. No, like if you have a painter sim, these pants would actually be really good for like the aesthetic. Because it looks like they've got pe paint on their pants. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just kind of like, okay, kind of weird. <laughs> but I like them. I like them. I might have, uh, yeah, I might have like a painter sim where those, like, he looks so freaking good. Like, this pack is great to make your sims look hot. So if you're, <laughs> if you're ever feeling like your sims need a little bit more oomph, then I'd say get this pack. <laughs> All right, these pants are a little, um, I'll never use these, probably. I mean, don't, don't take my word for it. You know, don't, it's not set in stone, but I just cannot right now fathom seeing myself using these pants. Um, yeah, that's just me. But let's just put them back in those. I like this outfit, like, what the heck? Okay, and then we also get a new pair of boots, it looks like, for the men. With like this crazy print on the side. Hmm. Interesting. They're interesting. <laughs> They're all right. All right. We'll keep, we'll keep those. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't think men got full body. Nope, they didn't. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it for the men. So let's go ahead and check out the kids. So they, the couple I made, they do have a daughter. So we're just going to check out her. And, um, as far as I can tell, there's no new hairstyles for children, which, kind of sucks kind of like whenever you get a new stuff pack and there's nothing for kids it kind of makes you like what the heck you know like come on uh <laughs> i feel like kids are somewhat irrelevant <laughs> sometimes in the sense like they don't have they don't always get content but it's all right i guess it is what it is um but they did get some new outfits so let's go ahead and check those out all right so she got this top this is so pretty for like summertime or spring if your sim is like you know it's summertime it's just really cute i like that i like it in the dark color too super bright and colorful that's why it reminds me of summer like that is so summer to me really cute and then they have some i'm not a big fan of these so like that's kind of Ew, you know, it's kind of super, I don't know. <laughs> it's not my personal preference, but I love the the styles of them, like really pretty. And then they also get a sweater. Let's check it out, see what different variations there are. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> I actually had a, at one point when I was like 16, so this is like a long time ago, cause you know, grandma's getting up there. But no, like I seriously, <laughs> Um, when I was 16, I had a laptop case and it literally looked just like this. Like I, I got a special skin for my laptop or whatever you want to call it. And it looked just like this print. I was trying to think of where I had seen this print before. It literally looked just like that. So yeah, that's cool. Anyways. <laughs> All right. These, and, oh, and we get new pants too. They, they match the shirt though, more than anything. The shirt right here. See, yeah, they totally are matchy matchy. But that's still, they're still cute. And you get the different patterns. They almost look like, they look like sweatpants. So, but I mean, whatever, you know. But yeah, I definitely get a summer vibe with this whole pack. Like every, all the clothes seem super summery to me, which is nice. I'm already ready for summer. Even though winter pretty much just started, I'm ready for summer. So 
fine by me. <laughs> um, they get no new accessories, no new shoes, no new anything, really, right? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and make her a guy real quick. <laughs> Just so we can see, um, you know, what they all got. Okay, so he doesn't have anything either. Which sucks. Like, nothing, you know? Alright, they get the same shirt, it looks like. Yeah. They get the same shirt the girls do. Same pants. So that is it for all of the clothing hair that came with this pack. Um, and a little bit, um, I'm kind of let down a little bit, but at the same time, I also really like a lot of it. Like, I wish that kids had gotten some more hairstyles or, or that, or more clothing even, or I don't know. I just feel like it was a little less in that department. Maybe there's going to be more furniture or something. Cause I just feel like spooky stuff, the spooky stuff, stuff pack, <laughs> which was the last stuff pack we got came with so much stuff so um Ooh. so yeah but i don't know i mean I'm, i am happy with everything that we got don't get me wrong i like almost everything and uh yeah so i just wish there was a little more variety in the kid department which that's always been something that i've wanted so that's you know something that i would have liked more of all right guys so now it is time to check out all of the cool stuff i haven't even looked at all of the stuff yet but as you can see I got this tree and can I just say this is my favorite thing in the game probably like that is how excited I am about this tree okay so um <laughs> first of all this tree okay it comes in a bunch of different um, color variations and depending on which color you choose that is um, what the lanterns that hang on them that's what they change to um, so yeah, right now I think I have it set on, on this one, or maybe it was the pink one. I'm not really sure, but, um, yeah, I'm so excited about this. Like this excites me like, like nothing else. Okay. Like really. And, and like they actually turn on like the lights. I mean, like, let's see, turn on all lights. All lights. Turn on this light. There we go. Okay, that took a long freaking time. But look how pretty, and you can actually see it flicker. Like as if there's a candle in it. And it's just so exciting. Like this is, I love this tree. I want this tree to be in like all of my Let's Plays now. It's just amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I just had to point that out to you guys first because this is what excited me the most so far. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the stuff that came with this pack now. Okay. So first of all, um, there are some new styled rooms that I actually placed down in this house. So um, this is actually one of them right here, this little outdoor area. And it is just adorable. Like so freaking cute. Uh, let's see. This is another one. Let's turn on all the lights. What the heck? Turn on all lights. There we go. Okay, geez. Um, so yeah, so this is another one and it is just, it's so pretty. This furniture is so cute. I love all the, like the, I don't even know what they're called. Like if you want to call them lanterns or just hanging lights or whatever, they're just so pretty. And this is like a dining room. Um, so yeah, these are the ones that came with this pack and they're just really cool. They come in different variations. Like this is the living room or whatever you want to call it, I guess, living room. <laughs> um, and I picked this one, as you can see, and they also comes in this one with the purple and then kind of like a neutral color one. And they can actually sit on these things. Like how freaking cool is that? Like that excites me so much. <laughs> and then this is the dining room. Really pretty. Love those bright colors. They're just so cool. And then this is the outdoor area that I placed down. Super pretty. So yeah, I just had to point that out to you guys. <laughs> and I'm not, I showed you guys the tree we got. I don't think we got any other plants. No, um, no new fencing or anything like that. We don't usually get that. We do have these new doors though, which are so bright and so freaking colorful. Like, look at that. That is so pretty. Like, whoops. <laughs> wow, Whitney. Too excited I can't even play the game right. That's just me. But look how pretty. 
Oh, I love that. I'd probably even use this door on like a teenage, a teenager's room or something. Just because it's so bright and pretty. Like that would be so cute. I would love that as a my door. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> and then this door right here also comes in a bunch of different pretty colors. Now I kind of want to make a bohemian looking house because this is just so so cool um yeah so that's that um there are no new windows uh no new wallpaper no new flooring i don't believe no um but that's i mean that's whatever like i didn't really expect it so let's go ahead and look at the stuff so starting off in comfort i guess uh so we get these new chairs it's called the grandma's chair um, one of my favorite things to do is actually read all of the, like the info that comes with each thing. <laughs> I'm not going to do that now though, obviously, but, but yeah, let's find a place where we can really look. Okay. Here, nice sunny area in the backyard. So we got the grandma's chair, which literally almost looks like my grandma's chair. Her chair wasn't as bright, but seriously, like that is so pretty. I want to make like a really nice space now like that is so so cute and then this a poof in time this thing is so awesome like it's like a little ottoman I don't know what you want to call it but they can basically sit on it and that makes me so happy probably more than it should I don't even know but this would be so cute in a kid's room I don't know I'm just really excited. I'm like inspired now to make more room builds. Let me know if you guys want me to do some room builds with the bohemian stuff. Because I have ideas. Uh, vexing dining. So this is like a dining chair. Yeah. Super nice. Again, with all the bright colors. I just love that. It's so cute. <laughs> um, if bright and flashy isn't really your thing, then I don't know if you would be able to fully enjoy this pack. Just because pretty much everything is is super colorful. I mean, they have some plain variations like that, but I mean, how could you not? Like this is like, you can make a really cute garden area. I might do that too. I don't know. Like I said, so many ideas. <laughs> the long stretch. So this is like the couch that matches. I think it matches grandma's chair. Yeah. And of course it comes in all the different colors. So pretty. I'm sorry. I know I'm coming off as like a total fangirl right now, but his life I suppose <laughs> that's me <laughs> all right and then we have this chair this would be gorgeous outside as well like this kind of it looks very wicker which I like in my outdoor sets like that is so cute to have like in an outdoor garden area I don't know that excites me <laughs> um, so now let's go ahead and check out the whoops um, surfaces, maybe there's new surfaces. Ooh, yes. Okay. So we get the run, run, run away. Um, this, I think it's a dining table. I'm pretty sure it looks like a dining table to me. And, ooh, I love the runner. That's so cute. It's, it just adds something to it. And you can even have it so it looks distressed like that. If that's your kind of style, kind of like a rustic look. I love little birdies. So pretty. A lot of this stuff reminds me of Lisa Frank, which I don't know. If you didn't grow up in the 90s, you might not even know. <laughs> I don't know. Some of you are so young. You might not even know what Lisa Frank. If you don't know what Lisa Frank, look it up. Okay. Look up Lisa Frank because some of the stuff <laughs> reminds me of that. And then this kind of looks like a table that would be against a wall. And it looks like a table that folds up, which is really neat. The only thing is I wish they could like have a table that looked like it or like pull the table out so you could use it you know what I mean I don't know um but yeah so this is also really cute though definitely cute if you want to have something like some kind of decoration on there and yeah that's so pretty um and then this looks like a coffee table reflections of the past oh look at that reflection it looks like a mirror that is so neat <laughs> I love that that's really cool. All right. So yeah, this coffee table is awesome. It looks like a mirror. Like, that's so neat. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I get excited about stuff like this, guys. Okay. <laughs> there is no new plumbing, no new activities and skills, but we do get decorations. 
So yay. All right. So we got pick a peck of pennies. Um, I'm surprised I actually said that correctly. First time trying. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> normally I can't talk. So I'm very surprised. I'm proud of myself. So yeah, you could totally hang this on your wall. And it looks... I don't even know what it's... It looks like plants that are in glass jars. But it's cool. I like it. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. It's really cool. I don't know. I like it. Maybe that's just me. And then we get a new potted plant. I don't know what those flowers are supposed to be. They look like they're not quite bloomed yet. I don't know if that's what they're supposed to look like. I don't know. You guys tend to know more about this kind of stuff than I do. So... <laughs> I just gotta say that I love all of the recolors that are possible. They just really give you a lot of variety. So, ooh, we get a giant plant. <laughs> Huge, humongous. And of course it comes in, ooh, I like that with the tinted leaves. Yeah. Ooh, I love the purple too. So cute, so kawaii. <laughs> Tea and tears. So this is for, I don't know, it goes on the floor maybe. Maybe you can put it on a shelf or countertop or something too. I don't know. This is a really cute thing to have in your garden. Really nice. Let me see. Ooh. Is it supposed to be like an animal? Like it looks like it has an eyeball. Am I the only one that sees that? I don't know. <laughs> am I crazy? I don't know. Probably. Probably am crazy. All right, and then we also get Moonlight Massacre poster. This is like a, like a movie poster. It looks like a horror movie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so neat. And then we also get Diamonds Are For Sims. This kind of looks like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> so yeah, if that's the kind of movie you're into, put it on your wall, you know? Uh, the Clumsy Sisters. Okay, so this is like, <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a comedy. I don't know, but they're obviously chefs. It's cute. Super kids. Ah, yes. That's like spy kids. Okay, they're totally ripping off spy kids, but that is amazing. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about it. Rip it off, Sims. Rip it off. Uh, Simder. Um, I don't know. This is supposed to be like Great Gatsby or something. I don't know. It looks like a romantic flick. Love that. Songs of Simori. Okay, this is freaking cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say, like, I'm probably going to use this particular wall hanging a lot. Like, this would be gorgeous in a teen's room, wouldn't it? That would be really, really pretty. So I love that. And then they have this one, too. Yeah. Like, this would be so cute. Definitely gonna use these hanging wall hangings a lot in my houses from now on. So if you watch my Let's Plays, look out for that. <laughs> Reflection of a vampire. So I take it this is like a super tiny mirror. Look at that. It is so tiny, but that reflection, damn, that's clear. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's see the different varieties. The usual, you know. And then we get a curtain here, it looks like. Let me see. Yeah. Whoa, the shutter, though. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ooh, okay. I'm happy whenever we get curtains because I feel like we are kind of lacking in curtain variety at the moment in The Sims 4. That's one of my biggest complaints right now about The Sims 4 is, is the curtains. Like, where's the variety, you know? <laughs> So I'm always happy when we get new new curtains. That's a plus. And then this one, I'm pretty sure it just matches the other one. Yeah. So cool. And then we get this. Is this a rug? It is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so this is a rug. And let's check out the different prints because rugs are another thing that I can never have too many of. I can never have too many rugs or curtains. So... I like it. It's cute. I love like the bird theme. It's really neat. And then we get this drape thing. It's kind of like a quilt thingy. I guess you'd hang on the wall. I don't know. Um, again, with the birds. Somebody likes their birds, yo. 
peacock. I want to see your peacock. Cock, cock, your peacock. Cock. If you guys know that song, <laughs> uh, comment down below who that song is from without looking it up, guys. <laughs> all right. And yeah, I like all the other variations too. Really cute. So yeah, I'm happy with all that stuff. No new kids stuff. I wasn't really expecting it, though, to be honest. Though we do get new lighting. Of course, the tree is considered as a light. So, yeah, that's neat. Um, a fire and ice. So this would be set on, like, a coffee table. Like, look, it's on the coffee table right now. So, yeah, you can see. Let's look at the different colors. So it's, like, pretty candles. I love that. Really cute. I just, I like everything. And I know it sounds so weird. <laughs> But I really do love all of this stuff. Like, it's just really cute. I per I personally like this kind of style, so that's why I'm so excited about it. <laughs> like, having these hang in a teen room. I'm going to make a teen room after this. Like, a bohemian teen room because that is just so cute. I love it. And then we have these cantankerous cackleberries. <laughs> Some of the names of this stuff is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, it's just basically more, uh, ceiling hanging thingies, lights, you know, but yeah, I love it. Um, so I don't know if, of course we have new electronics, duh, the movies. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure though that you can actually watch movies on, um, other TVs. Like you don't have to have this TV to watch movies on, which is nice. So yeah, we get this one right here. I love the speakers. This is like very extravagant. If you want to make your own little kind of theater room in your Sims house or something, or even a, maybe even a cinema, you know, that would be really, really neat. And then we have this one. They are freaking expensive though. So <laughs> you've been warned. Is this hang on the wall? Yes, it does. It does. Um, I don't know where the heck to put it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I guess we'll build a wall. Why not? Let's build a wall, guys. <laughs> just for this freaking TV. You know, why not? Oh, that's so cool, though. It's, it'd be so worth it to get the expensive one, because it looks so neat. With the built-in speakers. That is a nice TV. That's like my dream TV. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. All right, so get rid of all that stuff. Whitney, what the heck are you doing? All right, appliances. Okay, so yes, this is the popcorn maker. It comes in all the same colors that I'm pretty sure the cool kitchen ice cream maker came in. And it looks like this. And a lot of people do say it looks just like the ice cream maker. But, I mean, it doesn't really bother me, honestly. So, ooh, okay. So we get storage. Is this a bookcase or a dresser? I think it's a dresser. I'm pretty, I want to say it's a dresser. I want to say it is. <laughs> and if it comes in like some pink, oh my gosh. Yes, I'm doing a girl's room after this. <laughs> this is so, so exciting. I love that. But yeah, let's just make sure it actually is a dresser. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So I do believe that is everything that we have. Let me just see, make sure. This is all get to work. Said it's new, but it's, it's not. So, yeah, uh, whatever. Um, but I'm pretty sure that that is everything that came with movie hangout stuff. Yes. And honestly, I'm really happy with everything we got. Like, I think we got a fair amount of stuff. I mean, this is this pack is $10. Let's remember that. You know, stuff packs are no longer $20. So you don't get as much as you would, obviously, in a uh, $20 stuff pack, like in The Sims 3 or Sims 2 or whatever. So, you know, I... I, I'm actually really happy with everything we got, especially this tree. That is my favorite thing so far that we've probably ever got. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous. I love trees with lights in them. I just, I don't know. That's just my kind of aesthetic, I guess. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> So now that it is starting to get a little bit darker, it's like 6 p.m., so it's getting close to nighttime. Perfect time to start making popcorn and watching a movie. So, yeah. So we can have cook... We can have cook buttered popcorn, guys. What the heck is wrong with me? We can have buttered popcorn, caramel corn, cheddar popcorn, and kettle corn. So... 
I'm going to go ahead and just do the regular old um, buttered popcorn, the classic, you know. I love it with the kernels. So cool. Does it pop? Tell me it pops. It has to pop. <gasps> yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody has officially been this excited about popcorn before, but then there's me. Can you not? No, don't eat chips. You're cooking popcorn. God, don't be me. Don't be me. I literally eat while I cook. Am I the only one? I don't know. Go. <laughs> it is done. Go grab a serving of this popcorn. All of you. All of y'all. All of y'all. <laughs> no. What are you doing? Watch a movie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> watch movie with them. And Okay, so these are your choices. You can watch College Cram, Diamonds Are For Sims, which is like the Fifty Shades of Grey. Not appropriate for a child. Lost Dog's Journey Home. Is that like Homeward Bound? Because let me tell you, that movie was the the you know what okay whenever I was a kid it made me cry every time I watched it even though I knew nothing happened to the golden retriever it was, you know I can't I can't deal with dogs and sadness and stuff but yeah that just so reminds me of Homeward Bound if you guys have never seen that movie watch it uh Moonlight Massacre 3 so that must be like a saw like you know like that kind of movie like a horror Roaring Vice Cinder sims of the dead has to be a horror and then super kids which is obviously like spy kids uh adventures of spaceship simulation so it's like i guess star wars <laughs> um and then the clumsy sisters i'm not sure what that's supposed to be but um it sounds funny so let's go ahead and watch lost dogs journey home with the fam yes you go and you sit down and you eat that popcorn mm-hmm Stop eating chips and go get your popcorn and watch a movie with your parents. Ooh, let's watch this, guys. I'm such a dork. This is insane. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be sad. I can just tell. Yes, it has the cat. And the dog actually looks like the dog that gets lost if there's a golden retriever i'm done you know i love the sims 3 he's chasing the cat if he gets hit by a car i swear i am turning this movie off guys oh no a mummy has hit what oh mummy has the <gasps> no oh this is terrifying. What are their reactions? Do they even have any reactions to this movie? They're like ready to go be alone, if you know what I'm saying. They try to pop it in their mouths. That is so cute. Oh, tell me he finds his way home. Don't stand up in the middle of a movie. How rude are you? Yes, go switch seats in the middle of a movie. Why not? Your plum bob is right in the way, girlfriend. Now he's on a beach. This movie's long. Oh my gosh. If all, all the movies are like two minutes long in real time, I think. Or five minutes? Two minutes? I don't know. Find your way home, dog. This is so sad. What the heck? Oh. Heartwarming moment. Oh. Sit your ass down. I'm watching a movie. Oh, that was a good movie. Oh, that was so cute. Okay, this really excites me. <laughs> I'm such a dork. All right, so final thoughts on this pack. Um, I personally actually really like it. Um, you know, there are some things where like I feel like movies could have been included in an update or or even like in the base game with movies. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. But I mean that's just my personal opinion i feel like movies could have been included in just the base game or or something but um i do think that this pack is worth the ten dollars um but like i've said before in all my reviews <laughs> it depends on your personal preference like do you want to spend ten dollars on movies and bohemian furniture and clothing and and the hairs and stuff that you saw in this 
video. Um, like I said before, bohemian style is one of my favorites. So this really excites me and I'm excited to make like room builds and stuff on it. But that being said, if you're not into super bright colors and stuff, I don't know if you're going to really enjoy this pack being honest. Um, just because that is the majority, like everything is super colorful. And yeah, they do have a couple variations that are kind of plain and don't have prints on them, but but I personally love bright colors and prints, so I love it. So I, yeah, I like it. But I'm just saying, if this isn't your personal preference, I don't know if you're gonna be a, like entirely happy with this stuff pack. Um, that being said, the popcorn maker is really cool. Um, <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Um, I do love popcorn and and in real life, so of course I'm, I'm excited to have my Sims uh, pop popcorn as well. And the, the movies, they, it comes with 10 movies and you can seriously just sit and watch movies all day long with your Sims, uh, which I actually plan on doing. I want to watch all the movies now. <laughs> I enjoyed the few that I saw uh, in this first impressions video. So yeah, I, I personally really like this pack and I don't really have anything else to say except what I already said. If you don't like bright colors and movies aren't that important to you, then obviously you're probably not gonna get this pack but I think it's worth the $10 because I personally love all the stuff that came I mean that tree with the lights like that is my <laughs> I love it it's probably my favorite thing <laughs> that came like my favorite object I guess if you want to call it that that came with this pack so so yeah I'm I'm really excited about that and and everything so so yeah I think this stuff pack is solid for what it is it's basically just you know watching movies and eating popcorn uh and you know a lot of times with stuff packs in the sims 4 i feel like it could have been included in just the base game or something you know not just made its own separate ten dollar pack but that's a whole other that's a whole other argument there <laughs> you know that's obviously what they're doing with the sims 4 and even though we all might not agree with it it is what it is so that is it for this first impressions overview. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't really done one of these before. I've always just done the reviews um, after I've explored the pack off camera, basically. So let me know what you guys prefer more. Do you prefer the 15 minute ish reviews that I do? Or do you prefer these longer first impressions overview type videos? Let me know so I know what to do whenever the next stuff pack comes out and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.